Greetings guys, and Mark in the Dark here. Today, I'll be walking through how to make transparent meshes for Fallout 4. The tools you'll need to complete this process would be Photoshop, some mod organizer tool, NIFScope, and lastly, Outfit Studio. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, to prepare the textures, you'll need to open up Photoshop. Drag and drop your transparent texture into Photoshop. From there, control, press Control shift s select the Save as Type drop-down to DDS, and click Save. From there, go to Presets and select HQ Diffuse with Alpha. If you do not have this option, select Color plus Alpha in the Texture Type, and then for Compression, click BC7 8BPP Fine. And then for mip maps, select none. It's important to understand you need some form of transparency in the texture or it will not read. There, click OK. As you can see, the texture has been saved. Now, to create an, or configure your material file, you need to create a BGM. Double click the BGM file, head over to Effect. And then for the base texture, you're going to select the Abito map for your glass texture. And then for the normal map texture, you'll select the normal. And then for the NVAP mask texture, uh, select the specular and click save. It's important to understand if the texture is shiny in game, you need to make the specular map darker. And that is it. You have configured your material file. Now, for the next step, open Outfit Studio. Drag and drop your NIF. Select your lens or mesh that you want to apply the transparency to. Click the three dots. Go to your material. Select the lens and select the BGM file. And click OK. As you can see, it's not transparent, but it will fix that in a second. Click File. Click Export to NIF. And then save the NIF. Now we're going to boot up NIFScope. Drag and drop the NIF into NIFScope. You can see the material is loaded. Select the glass. Press the right mouse button. Head over block. Head over insert. Click insert. Click NIA, select NI Alpha property. Now select the glass again, scroll down till you'll see Alpha property, and press the number, input the number that you see here under this Alpha property. Now for the next step, expand the lens header, and where you see BS lighting shader property, right click that, head over block, and press remove branch. It should turn white. Now select the lens again, right click, block, insert, click insert, head over Bethesda, and it will be BSC effect shader property. As you can see here, BSC effect shader property, click it. Now select the lens again, scroll down till you see shader property, and press three. For you, the lens will turn black, but because we applied the texture into it already, you can see the transparencies are very apparent. Now for the final step, select the shader effect property, click, scroll up until you see the name and select the text. Here you're going to be inputting the material file address for the lens texture. You can select the address header. Select the materials all the way forward or right in the scenario. Press Control C or copy it. Control V it in this window here, this box. Click backslash and then copy the name of the material file. Press OK. You can see it's no longer transparent, but in game it will be transparent. And the last step, save it, and you have now converted a mesh to be transparent.
Have a good rest of your day. That is the end of this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, and happy modding.